Hello beautiful people, welcome to today's video. It's been a while since I sat down and recorded a live video of me applying makeup on. But today I have a bunch of new stuff that I want to try on and I definitely want to try them in the same time with you so you can see how they applies and stuff like that. So I have a Kosas a sample of the new foundation I got it from work I was like I need to get a sample of this first to see if I like it and then we'll see if I want to purchase it and then I bought the uh, LYS beauty new concealer I heard so many good things about this so I'm excited to try this when I was ordering this eyeshadow palette that is Odin's eye and Angelica Nick West uh, collaboration I also purchased this eyeshadow palette, which is called Cat's Breath Palette from Odin's Eye. So we're going to play with this one. I'm going to make a, a video about this one in the future. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. But we're definitely going to play with this one today. And I have a bunch of other stuff like Luna Beauty. I have some YSL. I have the um, Charlotte Tilbury and so many other things in here that I want to play with. So let's start. Okay. So it's been a while since I've been here. I know it's kind of crazy. I feel a little bit intimidating my being on camera. And I, know, <laughs> I don't know why, but because I, you know, I've done this for a while, but then I took a break and just doing videos with just showing you items and stuff, but not applying them on my face. But we're going to start with Instant Matte Pore Refiner from YSL. This is Top Secrets. I used to play with the uh, Photo Finish Primer Riser from Smashbox. But I tried that one for like a month and I feel like I want something different. You know what I mean? Like that just been really cool and all, but I want something different. I got tired of like playing with the same product over and over again. So here we are. I'm applying this one and just kind of press it a little bit. This one has a very high grading feel, but in the same time, I feel like it's kind of smoothing in the same time. So I really do enjoy this one. I played with it a bunch of times. Um, I do want to talk to you a little bit about what's happening right now in the world and Ukraine and all that is stressing me out terribly. As you can see, this red patch right here, that's eczema and usually shows up over here when I'm under a lot of stress. And I am under a lot of stress with the situation that is happening right now. It breaks my heart. Um, also stressing me out because Ukraine is very close to Romania. I do have family in Romania and it's just a lot, a lot to deal with. Um, I encourage everyone to try to help the Ukrainian refugee as much as you can with donation, whatever you can. That would be really helpful for them. But the world is upside down right now, isn't it? It is really upside down. Um, because I am under so much stress and stuff, I decided to create this video because I I need something to take my mind off of it. So we're gonna do we're gonna go through this together. So I have this uh, shade in 280. It's MTN. That's what I put over here. So I'm assuming that's like medium tan neutral 280. I have this new Amilani. Uh, sponge which I love I tried this one a lot of times and I love but unfortunately I didn't wet it yet so let me go and do that real quick okay, okay so I wet this out and I put it in a little bit of a um, what is that like a paper towel okay I'm gonna spread this out I was trying it in the store and I was like oh this feels really nice I want to see how this looks on my skin and how it performs I have so many foundations and I know there's more coming in my way from the um, from the gratis but and that's why I was not sure if I want to purchase this I really wanted to try it first as a sample and then go from there so like I was saying, I am under a lot of stress, not just what's happening in the world, also like, you know, I am still going to school, so I'm very close, very, very close to finish up. Um, this is like the last two weeks of this quarter, and then I have one more quarter to left, and then work and everything else, so it's a lot, but um, 
I'm trying to be positive and I'm trying to do things that kind of keep me centered, kind of keeps me happy. And makeup is one of those things. Makes, makeup just brings me happiness every time I apply it. All right, so this foundation actually I like how the way it looks. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. It's definitely more of a medium one, light to medium, but it is pretty. I'm gonna leave some details about this foundation on the screen for you. I'm not sure right now how many shades it comes in and all that stuff, but I do know that a lot of people really enjoy it because it is very lightweight and that's how I feel it right now. And it's more like, um, cause it is a clean brand. I think it's more like a skincare type of foundation, which is fun and nice for a lot of people applying skincare that applying a foundation that already has skincare is kind of like one and done and they really prefer that i'm not necessarily that type of person i have my own skincare that i go for but you know it's good to have options yeah so far i could tell you this very beautiful gives you a little bit of a glowy look as well very uh skin like i like how the finish is it doesn't look cakey at all it doesn't cling to my dry patches or anything like that so i really like this one now let's try the lys concealer i got mine so this one is called triple fix full coverage brightening concealer with hyaluronic acid plus turmeric plus ashwagandha i don't know what that is it says, whether highlighting your favorite uh, features or concealing pesky blemish in this full coverage, breathable formula instantly brings balance to the complexion for a natural seamless look that wows. Usage. To highlight, use the doe foot applicator to apply to the high points of the face, including underneath areas, um, under eye area, and center of the forehead. Build and blend using a sponge or complexion brush, not included to spot conceal concentrate product on blemishes redness or dark spots prior to foundation so i am interested to see i was trying it in the store and it felt really really creamy which it's really interesting so this is supposed to be full coverage and brightening in the same time let's try this i have mine in mg5 oh yes this is a nice color. So how have you guys been? What's going on with you? What's going on in your world? Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna blend this quickly. So far, I really like how it looks. Like, look at that. Very, very easy to blend. I feel like if you want a little bit more coverage, you might want to try a sponge Ooh, oh, i mean a, a brush do i have a brush that i can, that I can use that is clean because uh, i haven't cleaned up a lot of my brushes okay so let's try this one for example this one i think it's a what is it an eco tools brush yeah definitely better with a brush than a sponge because the sponge kind of sucks that in and it's a very 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 lightweight formula but it looks very hydrating and that was the reason why i wanted to grab this because i do have more drier under eyes i don't have them as dry as they used to but i i do have some dryness still going on under my eyes and it's very important for me to just grab something that it is a little bit more hydrating for my under eyes okay so i like how that looks that looks pretty i like it i'm just gonna take a little bit of the sponge on top of it just to kind of make sure i don't have any marks but so far so good i do not consider this necessarily a full coverage though 
I feel like I need to apply just a little bit more right here. I think this is more light to medium coverage. I don't consider this full coverage. I don't know. It just feels like it's very lightweight. So usually very lightweight products are not that full coverage. But also I feel like it doesn't necessarily get all the darkness. It is very brightening though. So that's a good thing. But I, uh, I want to call this full coverage, just not, not, not full coverage. All right, I am going to apply a blush, um, and this one, it is from Fenty Beauty. This is a cream brush, and this is in 06 Date Query Tip. I was looking into my drawers, and I saw this, and I was like, hell, I haven't played with this one in a very, very long time, and I need to, I need to, you know what, I think I'm just gonna use my beauty sponge, I'm gonna go in here, I'm just gonna do that on top of my hand, and just go in town with it, this is a very beautiful color, so, 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 so pretty, and very easy to blend, it's just a dream, I love it, I love how it looks, I'm gonna do that in here. Has that a little bit of like orangey tint to it? Shit, my my uh, contact lens is moving into my eyes, so I have a little bit of a harder time seeing myself in the monitor. But oh, I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't wanna I don't wanna interact with it right now. I'm just probably gonna try to do that at the end to fix it. But for now, I'm just gonna have to deal with it the way it is right now. Oh man, I hate my contact lenses, but the ones that I used to have before, they were too dry. So I went in and I said, hey, I needed to change. I went to my doctor, my eye doctor, and I said, I needed to change my prescription because I really hate these. These are just too dry. And now he changed it to these that are very moist, moist, like very, very wet. And then I have just problems with them now because they're moving in my eye too much. So, I don't know. It is what it is. But I do have to fix it before I go to work. Because otherwise I'm going to have problems while I'm driving. And I do not want that. By the way, I am applying right now something that I really, really love. And this is the Rare Beauty. This is Always Sunny Bronzer Stick. This thing is so freaking good oh my god it's so so good you guys you need to try this it is absolutely beautiful if you feel like the ones from uh, Fenty Beauty are a little bit too in the grayer side too cool tone and you prefer a little bit more warm tone then this is the answer this is the answer it's beautiful it's so easy to blend it's like a dream look at this look how pretty and how easy it is to blend like just like that so so nice all right so now we have all these crazy cranes on my face which doesn't look too bad I love it I love it the way it looks but let's take some of the shine away so I'm gonna go and apply this uh, powder from Huda Beauty for my under eye I'm gonna make sure I don't have any lines first the way I started to use this one I like to apply it with a brush, and let me see if I have my brush around here. Actually, I'm just going to go with this one. This is from Luna Beauty. I'm going to apply a little bit on my hand. I like to put it right in there, and this one, it is, what, what number is it? It doesn't say. Anyway, so I'm going to take it and just kind of press it. I feel like that started to look a little bit better than applying it with a sponge. Because I do want to bake, but not too much. You know what I mean? Because I still have the, the dryness for my under eyes. And on the top of my eye, just go a little bit with that. Oh yeah, I haven't even had time to talk to you about how it is to work for Sephora. But I definitely want to create a special video for that one. It is more stressful than what you would think. But it also has a lot of cool things. 
um, the fact that I receive a lot of gratis, the fact that I get, I get to see a lot of things, the new, knowing a lot about new releases before they even talk about, and they're so secretive. I cannot tell you, but there's a lot of many good things coming. Um, so, and also just having the chance to like try a bunch of things and then having the chance to learn about a lot of stuff too. So that, it is cool. I've been working for Sephora now for like almost five months. It's insane. Alright, so these are the areas where I usually apply that powder. And then I want to go with my other powder if I can find it. Oh man, my contact lens is moving in my eyes. I wanted to try to come out. So that's not a good thing. Alright, so I found this. So this is my favorite powder at the time. This is the Dior Powder No Powder. And I have mine in four neutral. I love this for the blurring effect that it gives. But also, it just feels like you have no powder on, and that's what I like the most about it. I definitely bronzed a lot today, so that's pretty. Okay, I love how this is coming along. I love how it is looking. I am going to do my brows really quickly. I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. And I have mine in Espresso. Alright, so these brows are filled now. Um, I also, when I was off camera, my, <laughs> my contact lines fell off. And I had to put a new one in, so yay, I love that for me. But let's go ahead and play with this eyeshadow palette. I'm very, very curious. It's going to be the first time trying Odin's Eye um, formula on my eyes. I haven't played with them at all. Uh, definitely uh, needed to try that uh, Angelica's eyeshadow palette. That it, The color story is all me. It's like a lot of green in there. Like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Let me show it to you because I want to, I want you to see it. This is how the packaging looks like. And here's how these shades are. Like, I, can it be more me, this eyeshadow palette? It's so, so stunning. I cannot wait to play with it. But look at this one. Look how pretty that is. I love that. These are some beautiful shades. So, so pretty. So I'm really not sure what I want to go with this one. Do I want to go with like catnip and bad temper and a little bit of that cat star? Or can I, should I go with like the orangey or should I go with the greenish, um, bluish side? Um, I think I'm just going to be me and try to go with the green side. So let's start with this catnip one, which is so, so pretty. So I'm going to take that one and wow, that is pigmented. Do you see that? That is, wow, very, very pigmented. Whoa, I was not expecting that. Wow. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to apply this one all over the lid i am super impressed with the first application oh definitely transfer so i had i got a bunch of it over here so i'll say be careful with that but it is it is so pigmented and beautiful i like that And then I'm going to do one eye and then I'm going to go and finish the other eye off camera. I think I want to go with this bad temper one. Try to find a good brush in here. I think I'm just going to go with this brush from, is this from, yeah, Laura Lee Los Angeles in L19. So I'm going to go and get the bad temper one and just kind of stomp this out like that. I just kind of want to give it a little bit of dimension like this. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go with that like that. And then I think 
I might either go with bling or catstar. I haven't even swatched these. Ooh, catstar looks like that. And bling looks like that. Hmm. Which one should I go with? Okay. Um, I might just go with catnip, I'm thinking. So let me blend these in together. And then I am definitely gonna go in with cat bling. That wool ball looks insane. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go with catnip. Oh my God, that's so pretty. You know, that's so, so stunning. I love it. And then I'm gonna take that and apply it on the bottom lash. Like over there, and then I'm gonna take the lighter one and apply that one over here. Just kind of blend it with each other like that. I'm gonna take a brush and clean this matte shade from here. Very easy to clean up and very very pretty might just blend a little bit more of that green there yep yeah, that's pretty beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this other eye and i'll be right back so i know i want to put an eyeliner on a green one and i have two one i had one from sephora collection this is more like a really deep green and I like this so this is how that one looks like and then I also have this one which I absolutely love I cannot believe these are so good especially when I know how much I paid for it I think I only paid three dollars for this this is a hard candy stroke of gorgeous color liquid eyeliner it's so so pretty this is how the color looks like so this is a little bit of lighter green I think I might actually you know what I think I might go with this one I think I, this one is just a little bit darker so going on top of that green might look better so I'm gonna go with this one from Sephora let me see what the color is on this um, it said 06 and is the waterproof formula Satin Forest Green. I'm trying to make it like a little bit like a double wing. This one did not come out quite right, but this one is better. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. By the way, while I was doing this, this was delivered to me. Look how pretty this is. I love it. This is so cute bought this on Amazon anyway let's do mascara so I'm gonna do a mascara that a, I had in my shop my stash this month and this is the telescopic carbon black from L'Oreal this one is very nice for like lengthening but it's not the most amazing one for volume but it is pretty nice though the wand is pretty weird though. <laughs> Look at the wand. It's super, super, super thin. Very, very thin. I mean, this is amazing for the bottom lashes. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so here's the look. I love it. I like it. It's pretty. I like it. I like it. All right, now let's do lips. So I'm thinking, uh, don't know exactly what I'm thinking, but I might just gonna try something new. New word for sure. So I have this Clinique, uh, what is it called? The Black Honey um, Lipstick Balm or something like that is called. And it's been absolutely crazy on TikTok and been sold everywhere. Uh, sold out everywhere. Um, I also have these Patrick Ta um, 
major volume plumping gloss i also have the uh, luna beauty uh, lip gloss and i have one in divine and one in mystery i just tried this one uh, another lip liner, I have the one from Too Faced, this is in Lady Bold, <sighs> I don't know which one, which one, which one should we do? Actually, you know what, I think I'm gonna do this one with maybe this, we'll see, let's put this one first though. So this is a red. I actually bought this recently. I really do like it. It's very, very creamy. And their lipsticks are so long wearing. My coworkers are going nuts about them. All right, so I have that over there. I'm actually gonna fill in just a little bit more. The only thing with this one, I kind of hate that I have to press for it to come out, but you can press it down, I mean, you know what I mean? It stays out, so you have to only press it until, to the amount you think you're going to use. Alright, so that's that. It's all filled in. And then, I'm going to take... I'm going to take this one. This is the Clinique one. So I'm going to take this one. This is how it looks like. And I'm going to apply this one on top. And this is supposed to be looking different on everybody. So that's an interesting thing. You're supposed to have to deal with your temperature or something like that quite sure how everything works but yeah it's supposed to give a different color than everybody else and this is how that looks it's very comfortable and also feels a little bit nourishing and i'm also gonna go with this lip gloss from luna beauty and this one is in the mystery shade because it got the uh oh look at that i got their uh mystery box wow That's pretty. Also, I tried their, um, I tried the Eternal Eclipse eyeshadow palette. <gasps> so good. So, so good. I did not like the uh, blush palette. It's just not, it's not my color story. It's not something that I usually go for. And the form is not exactly something that I usually go for either. But... This lip balm looks freaking adorable. I like that. I like that. Should we put a little bit more blush? I don't know. Should we put a little bit of Pat McGrath? I have mine in um, do, 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 Electric Bloom. This is how it looks like. I think I'm just going to add a bit. A bit. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. I still don't like the way it smells. But I do like how it looks on the skin. It looks beautiful on the skin. Still not orange. <laughs> if you've seen my video when I got this one, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, this is how it looks like. Yes, I needed that. I need a little bit more of that. So for highlighters, uh, I'm going to do Star Eyeliner Highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics. These are pretty crazy. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. I'm gonna set everything down with Urban Decay All Matter. I really love this thing. I'm so glad I got it in my last gratis. That's that. Okay, let's talk about the products that I played with today and let you know what I think about them. Foundation. Let me go and have a look a little really quick in my mirror to see very, very close. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. Just a little bit I can see around my nose. It's just a little bit. Maybe I should have blended in a little bit better. It cling a little bit in those dry patches. But other than that, beautiful. 
beautiful on the skin the concealer amazing i love how it looks it looks so so stunning i love the eyeshadow palette ah uh, the glittery sparkle it looks nice it doesn't have a lot of color in it so I definitely need to try this more and see, but I really like how pigmented these are and how easy it was to blend it in. The mascara, I like it. It's just very lengthening. I do like a little bit more volume. So if you are more like me, then you might want to add another mascara with this one. That could be very helpful. The uh, brow pencil from Too Faced, very nice. I've tried that one a couple of times. I still prefer the Charlotte Tilbury one better, but this one, it's a beautiful one as well. You know, it's not, not too bad, not too bad. This one, I know I tried it. I like it. I really do enjoy it. It's a really good one as well. Oops. The lip gloss from Luna Beauty. Very, very nice. I'm so surprised. I'm usually not the type of person that likes to put lip gloss on, but this one looks absolutely beautiful. The Clinique one, nice. I like this. I really like this. And I told you already, I love this one from um, Rare Beauty, and I also love the uh, blush from uh, Fenty Beauty as well. So yeah, this is pretty much what I have on my face. This is how it looks like. Let me know down below if you like, still like videos like this. Let me know if you want me to see, if you want me to do more videos like this, because I'm game to do so. Um, but for now, thank you so, so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye now.